Listen. It's in the Bible. I hope you read it. Yes, it says transform? that none of those men which were bidden or have mercy shall taste of my supper. None of those men where, where he invited you to come and, and you say, well, you know, I, I, I got this thing that's more important to you right now, God. I, I hope you understand. Come on, God. Mm. One day at the week, you got Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday to do what you got to do. God asked for one day. I, I just, I just, I can't. This is more important. None of them which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Church, I don't mean no harm this morning. I love you. That's why I'm telling you. Church, I need God to supply me with life. So if he asks me to come to worship him one day a week for a few hours, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be, I'm going to do, see, do your very best to be here. You know, God knows your heart. If you do your very best, Best. I'm, I'm talking about do your very best. Don't make no excuses like these people in Luke chapter 14. You do your very best to be here. God will be pleased with that. If you're sick and you feel weak, that's all right. Got a reason. You got a reason, that's all right. But you know what it says here? It says excuses. Yes. <laughs> There's a difference. I want you to understand that we can't do anything without God. This is the last couple of scriptures, and I'll, I'll leave y'all alone this morning. Okay. In Acts chapter 17, starting at verse 24, it says, God that made the, the whole world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands, as though he needed anything. See, God doesn't need your money. God doesn't need you to come into a building and sing to him. God wants you to obey him. He wants a relationship with you. Seeing that he giveth to all life, listen, he gives you life and breath and all things and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and hath determined the times before appointed and bounds of their habitation that they should, listen, seek the Lord. He wants you to seek after him. If, listen, happily they might feel after him. He wants you to choose him, to choose him. It says, and find him, though he be not far from every one of us because he's in us all. And this is an important part here. For in him we live and move and have our being. Without God, you can't live and move or have your being. So let's pay homage to him. Let's be reverence. Let's show him reverence. Let's show respect unto God and, and be here when he has asked us to. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25 and last, it says, not forsaking, you know it, the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much more. See, by you being here, you're not only obeying God, you encourage the other members. When they see you here, it compels them to be here as well. It says, and so much more, as you see the day approaching, and this is the only time that this is recorded in scripture, where it says something like this, and it's right after it talks about coming, to church, assembly. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. That's some strong language there. Yeah. If we sin willfully, so, and right after he said that you aren't supposed to forsake the assembly, for if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more 
sacrifice for sins. Church, we ought to be here. We ought to encourage one another to be here. And I believe that, that God will make a way no matter what the situation. God's power is infinite. He created everything just with the sound of his voice. I believe God will help you to make it to worship on the Lord's day. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Church, I want you God's blessing on this lesson. If there's anyone here that's not a Christian, you can come today. Don't let the devil keep you. Come by hearing first, believing, repenting of your sins, making a confession, and being baptized in the watery grave of baptism where your sins will be washed away. God will add you to his church, and if you live faithfully unto death, you will receive a crown of life. If there's anyone to listen to that call, would you come while together we stand and sing? Peace, sweet, I know. Peace, sweet, I know.